What's up, video bloggers? That's right, today is a double snap day. Ba -ba 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 bam How are all my subscribers out there doing? How are all my viewers out there about to be subscribers doing? <laughs> so today I'm going to be touching up on something that I spoke about in my last vlog when I said that I don't really talk about those fine aspects of my life, but today I will. Yet, I feel that vloggers should not divulge everything about themselves as to give away their mystique, really. Uh, we're in autumn now. Autumn is like been one of my favorite times of the year and um but not for the same reason everyone else likes it you know for the fact that the leaves are changing and that there's that crispness in the air that steals us away from the heat of summer but um for a long time maybe since like i was 29 i've always uh i've always loved it because it always feels to me that the year is closing up and that i'm ready to die that's right. Today I'm going to be talking about my relationship with death. Now, everyone grieves, everyone processes, everyone copes in their own way. There is no right or wrong way to deal with death. But uh, since I was 13, I've dealt with death in a totally different way. Because when I was 13, I did die. I was admitted to the hospital for a very serious asthma attack and... Uh, just under three minutes, I was I was dead. I was gone. No pulse. No breathing. Nothing. No life. Um, and um, I can recall that there were only there was only one funeral that I really cried at, and it was my uncle Buddy's funeral. Um, he's my dad's brother. Um, somebody to me who could be more of a father figure than anyone else. Uh, someone that really took the time to listen to me. Someone that really took the time to talk with me. Uh, someone that taught me stuff. Taught me these lessons, valuable core lessons, which I still carry on with today. Um, and uh, actually, the day that the day of his funeral was the day that Elvis Presley had died. So it was kind of like one of these like double whammy kind of things. But um, after, after his death, I didn't, death really didn't seem to bother me. Um, on top of the fact that I've been a dark soul for a really long time, like I think I, I think that the darkness in me started creeping up when I was like around eight years old, when I myself started postulating, hey, what if I died on my birthday? Like, what you know, what does that mean, right? So you know, what kid thinks about stuff like that, right? Well, me obviously, but um, because of that, I've had my own relationship with death. Um, I. I think death is left best left to people who are dead, and life is best left to people who are alive. That may sound redundant, uh, may sound insensitive, but I really believe a lot of people don't know how to cope with death. They don't. Um, the they they go into the bargaining stage of it, like, well, why did he have to die? You know, God took him and all that kind of stuff. You know what I mean? You know, people die. It's just a part of life and death, okay? And I hate to come at you sounding really cold and unfeeling because I don't know who's watching this vlog. Maybe someone out there has, has just lost someone. My next door neighbor just lost his father, okay? But at the same time, you know what? I, I think human beings, I mean, living human beings have a really hard time with death. Uh, and I think as... I think since the time that we have been able to document life, we've had a really hard time with death, you know. And I think with the generation before me, I think it's even more difficult because they are, they, I know that they say that talking about the dead is very disrespectful and uh, people, people carry on someone's death as if it's... Um, some huge baggage of their own, really, you know? Um, and I think for the longest time, I've always had this perspective, which I learned later, which was part of the Native perspective, that um, to die is to be a complete person, you know? Uh, is to complete your journey. Right? It's, it's, not, it's, not, it's not as sad as it seems. Like I said, living beings don't know how to have a good attitude about death you know it's always like oh why did he have to go and all this kind of stuff you know what i mean 
it's the, it's just part of it. You know, you have to deal with it. Um, so the way I deal with death now, um, I don't, I don't, I don't dwell on it. You know, I'm like, I'm glad their journey has come to an end. You know what I mean? So that way they can go on to their new journey. You know, uh, life doesn't end. Okay. Um, there is no beginning. There is no end. There's only transformation. So, with that said, um, you know, I've always been a very dark soul too, and um, so much so that I've kind of been like a family outcast because of it, um, <laughs> because, I mean, this is what I would do, okay, because, because of my death, I've always, I've always searched for the reason why I was spared, um, or if that even is a reason or even any kind of thing to even to attach to it, right? But um, a friend of my dad's works at or worked at um, one of the uh, the cemeteries. And I would hang out there and I would I would say, hey, you have any like empty plots right now? And they would usually have five or six ready um, to fill. And I would just take the utility ladder put it down there and I would spend close to two hours just laying on the ground, lay, laying in the ground uh, on my back, just looking up at the sky, the sun, the trees, watching life pass me by. So that I can really encapsulate what that feels to be dead. Um, so yeah, I guess you could say I'm, I'm a pretty goth guy without the whole freaking makeup and, and crap because that, that's all crap anyway, that's all external. I wear my goth on the inside. But um, Neil actually was here last week. We didn't vlog because we were we got into a huge Super Smash Brothers tournament, and uh, and then we also went out and ate and everything, and then I had to go to work. So um, he should be back next week, possibly, and uh, we'll definitely kick something out. Until then, thank you so very much for watching. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, what the hell is holding you? Come on, do it, do it, do it. So, um, take care. Much love. Shit, don't